Wedding in Galilee, the film we are going to see in a few minutes, is remarkable for two quite unique reasons. It's the first feature made by a Palestinian director, and it was made in Palestine itself, in what was once Palestine, but now, of course, is divided between Israel and the occupied territories. I heard about Michel Clefi's film some time before I first saw it. I'd just completed a film about the Palestinians myself, and friends mentioned Wedding in Galilee to me and urged me to try and see it. When I finally got the chance, I was deeply moved. I hadn't really anticipated how good the film was going to be. The first thing that struck me about it was the absence of animosity towards the Israelis, the military governor and his troops, who rule the lives of the Palestinian villages. Of course, you're constantly aware of the Israeli occupation, but it's treated with a great deal of subtlety and humor, obliquely, ironically. It's a film which wants to understand everybody's reasons, to show the better side of people without ever minimizing the injustice and lack of freedom felt by the Palestinians. It's about their struggle, but it's not an aggressive film, quite the reverse. It calls for justice, but also for understanding. Second, it's a film about a wedding, there's a story which grips you as a story should and propels you towards a climax. There's always a threat, a possibility of violence. But the wedding itself is always the center. The film lovingly portrays the spectacular beauty and ritual of the occasion, almost like a documentary, a strange and poetic documentary. Michel Clefi wants to show the intricate detail and richness of Palestinian life, all the strands which go to make up a living culture the film keeps moving sideways away from the main spine of the plot to introduce a new character, to dwell on some sensuous image, to conjure up an atmosphere of dream and ceremony. Thirdly, in some ways, this is the most striking thing of all. The film is about the women of the community, their hopes and fears, their strength. At the center are the bride, her mother, the groom's mother and his sister. They are the hub the heart of the wedding and of the village community. To show us who the Palestinians are, the strength of their resistance, Michel Clefi looks at the women of the village rather than the men, who are more often living in the past or else mirroring the machismo of the Israeli army. The women come from different generations. They have different outlooks and ambitions, but they are united by a double bond as Palestinians and women, suffering the power of Israel and patriarchy. Michel Clefi was born in Galilee, in Nazareth, and left Israel when he was 20 years old in 1970. Now he lives and works in Brussels. For him, making wedding in Galilee was a return to his home from exile, a chance to recreate the community in which he was brought up, one which he loves and honors, but from which he has acquired a critical distance. Of course, it's impossible for a Palestinian to avoid politics. At a film festival in Italy, Michel Clefi opened a press conference on his film by making a joint statement with the Israeli filmmaker Amos Gitai, calling for the rights of Palestinians to be recognized, for a just peace. For me, this symbolized how resistance can be accompanied by reconciliation. Wedding in Galilee is not an easy film to sum up in a few crisp sentences. It deals with issues and problems which are too often oversimplified, and it deliberately sets out to avoid cliches and easy rhetoric. It's a film which finds emotional depths where they are not expected and beauty and dignity where they are often overlooked. It's a film which was difficult to make, bringing together technicians, actors and actresses from outside with those from inside, both Palestinians and Israelis, professionals and real people. It's a very courageous film. It doesn't shirk issues, but it doesn't belabor them. It resists the temptation to sloganize or caricature. It celebrates the everyday and the sensuous pleasure and beauty in a land at war plagued by severity, discipline, abstraction. Perhaps it's a utopian film with its generous hopes. Certainly, it's not a film you will easily forget. <laughs>